All right, if you're clicking on this video, you're definitely a lot like me where every single time you get a new iPhone, you're contemplating, do I need to get a case for my iPhone? The main reason is because the phone feels so good in your hand, you don't wanna add extra accessories, extra bulk, extra cases because of how the phone feels in your hand. It just feels so good, so clean, so minimal, so thin, and when you add a case, it kind of destroys all of that especially the thinness and the, the feel of the phone. And in my opinion, I'm not a really huge fan of cases unless I need a case if I'm going like hiking or something outdoorsy. But most of the time, I really just don't like to add extra accessories, extra bulk onto my brand new iPhone 15 Pro. With this year, we have the iPhone 15 Pro, which honestly, a lot of things have changed from the previous iPhone 14 Pro. The first thing is the materials. So obviously with this year, we get a titanium frame, which is more durable than the previous stainless steel material. And also it holds up with scratches very, very well. At this time with the iPhone 14 Pro stainless steel, there were so many scratches on my iPhone 14 Pro. It's actually unbelievable how many scratches I had on the iPhone 14 Pro with just a few months of use. Most of the time I would rock it caseless or have a slim case on it or a more protective case if I'm going like hiking or something like that. But for most of the time I would have the phone caseless and there were just so many scratches. It was so hard to see. But with this year, the new titanium, scratches don't really show up on my personal iphone 15 pro for me i have the silver iphone 15 pro which i mean there's no coating or anything like that on this model but if you have the darker colors like the black or the blue titanium then that's something that you might have to worry about because there is a coating added to that titanium material and so with that one there it is more prone to scratches than the silver or the natural titanium colorways which i would guess most people probably have the natural titanium just because that's like the brand new color everyone wants to get the brand new color but if you're one of those that have the black or the blue titanium I would actually be pretty cautious because even when like the first day the iPhone came out, people were noticing scratches and stuff like that on the black and the blue colorways. So with those ones, kind of a different story, but for my personal one with the silver color or the natural titanium color, scratches don't really show up on this material like the previous stainless steel material. All right, and the next thing I wanna talk about is the design of the iPhone 15 Pro. Actually, pretty much every iPhone 15 because with this year's iPhone 15, they curved the glass and they curved the entire body of the iPhone 15 series, which makes it a little bit more prone to getting your actual screen cracked. Versus the previous iPhone 14 series, they're more of a boxy kind of design and the glass was completely flat on those models. But with this one, the glass is slightly curved and this is with every single iPhone 15 model, which is more prone to getting cracks and stuff like that on pretty mild drops. So yeah, with all those new design changes on the iPhone 15 series, it is kind of scary rocking your phone cases, especially with the iPhone 15 Pro Max with that new price tag at $1,200. But if you're someone that doesn't really drop their phone too much and really hasn't had that many cases of a broken phone, I would say you're probably okay. If you wanna keep your phone in completely pristine condition, but still want the caseless kind of feel, I also do recommend these cases from TAC. They are basically, it doesn't even feel like you have a case on your phone. And they also do have these new clickable buttons, which I really, really do like. Because for me personally, if I'm rocking a case, even if it's a thin case, I want the buttons to be super clickable and super easy to press. And especially if you have the black or blue iPhone 15 Pro, like I said, that one is way more prone to getting scratches and having like visible scratches on your phone. So if you do not want that, I would recommend these cases because it will protect you know, your sides from getting scratched while still having that caseless like feel. So yeah, if you guys are interested in those cases, I'll leave a link down in the description below where you guys can check them out. But if you're someone that drops their phone a lot and has experience with cracked phones, something I would recommend is actually getting insurance or some kind of protection plan for your iPhone. For me personally, what I usually do when I get a new iPhone is obviously I do review cases and try cases out within the year. But most of the time I usually have a thin case or no case at all on my iPhone and I rock it just like that. Just because I like the form factor, I like the feel, I like how the phone looks with no case or a thin case on my personal phone. And that's why for me personally, I like to have some kind of insurance program because just in case my phone breaks, it's going to be a small deductible of $29 or something like that versus if let's just say I broke the front screen on my iPhone 15 Pro, it would cost a whopping $329. And that's for the iPhone 15 Pro. So yeah, that is the main reason why I like to have some kind of insurance program, some kind of protection program, because if I didn't have that, I would have to pay insane repair prices to get my phone fixed. And that is just not worth it. So if you're willing to go caseless, which honestly, you should go cases if you want to go caseless, then I would get some kind of insurance program, which brings me to today's video sponsor, Akko. Akko is a device insurance company that makes protecting your devices easier and more affordable. And we're not just talking about iPhones. For just $15 a month, Akko protects your cell phone as well as 25 other devices. Say 
you want your computer protected, you want your computer monitor protected, you want your TV protected, any kind of tech that you have, it can go under this plan right here. But if you just need to protect your phone, Aqua has a phone only plan starting at just $5 a month to $12 a month, depending on what iPhone you do have. And that's up to 50% less than you might pay at your cell carrier for getting insurance for this kind of device. Plus accidental damage like dropping your phone, cracking your screen, getting spills on it. Those aren't normally covered by renters or homeowners insurance. So having Aqua coverage is a game changer for those everyday accidents. The sign up process is also very, very simple and easy to use. And it's also easy to swap out new or upgraded devices when you get them. And when you need to get something fixed or replaced, there are thousands of top rated repair shops to choose from. So if you guys are interested in trying them out, I'll leave my code right here. It's Jared free to get one free month with their service. I'll also leave it down in the description below where you guys can check it out. But if you don't want to worry at all, I want to keep your phone in pristine, perfect condition. Then I personally would get a case. I personally would rock a case on your iPhone 15 pro because this phone is expensive. You want to, you know, you want to keep it in very good condition. But if you're someone that just loves the design and loves the feeling and everything about the phone without a case, then you should do it. But you should have some kind of insurance program to back you up.